yeah hello everyone so once again good afternoon uh we have enough strength to get started uh, so yeah so today's agenda is quite different than what you know what we used to have usually <clears throat> So today I'm not gonna, you know, go for theory and, you know, then I will move on to the example and, you know, I will show you the code. Now, what I'm thinking now is today's session has to be somewhat different than what earlier used to be. So it has to be only, you know, practical. So I'm gonna, you know, show you how exactly the code, I am, you know, different problems we usually deal with, you know, uh, to write some code and then, you know, work on that. So there would be no theory at all might be if there you know some keyword or maybe some function which you are not quite aware about it then i might have to you know explain about it but yeah more or less there would be no theory it's a just a practical okay <clears throat> i hope you will you will enjoy this session as well because you know uh, pretty much you know i don't know what to say but yeah it's a pretty much mix uh, my i generally used to call it as a miscellaneous coding session generally so don't worry uh, i'm gonna share something let me share my Jupyter. okay i'm sharing you the right thing so my Jupyter notebook is with you so yeah miscellaneous coding basically i will write coding session okay so why I'm doing this, I don't know whether you guys are able to get my point or not, but yeah, more or less you would be very near to, you know, most of the coding uh, examples, or you can say like now onwards, I'm gonna, you know, uh, start giving you some practical or basically you can say like project demo kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not expecting you all to, you know, <clears throat> do whatever i do in front of you but yeah i would be expecting somewhat you guys are pretty much familiar to the you know stuff and maybe the term which i'm trying to use in almost all the case study or maybe on or you can say like in basically examples so let me start this with you know first of all you need to know what exactly the versions and libraries do you have in your system so how do you know about it so let me show you my presentation for that <clears throat> so here i have written you know some sort of lines basically uh, i will go with you know each line and then i will tell you what exactly each line does it's basically you know i have taken out some uh, you can say like code not uh, not entire you can say but yeah means what all libraries were present in my system out of that hardly one or two libraries i was trying to you know use for you all so uh, so guys please don't mess up the things because i have seen somebody has marked anyway i have disabled you guys but yeah so let me just uh, you know write my code here somewhere and then i will try to you know explain you one by one everything each line what it does so you need to first check which version of scipy do you have in your system so it's basically i have just written scipy because you know i generally used to work on most of the ml stuff machine learning stuff so you know this is what the library generally i used a lot so here you just need to you know import scipy and then you have to write print and then here you have to just mention scipy and then here so this the way format has to be used is you you know in front of you it is being written and here you just need to mention uh, version okay <clears throat> so once you run that you will come to know whether do you have you know scipy on your system or not yes in my system scipy is there so which version i have 1.1.0 .1 okay basically it's a zero but uh whoa. now <clears throat> so in this way you can you know identify which version you know which library do you have sometimes you know what happened suppose you you are using some library you have imported that now it is while you're running that library what it will give an error or maybe it will not give going to give you error but it is going to give you you know some sort of warning in warning what is trying to say is this version 
which you are using is outdated or maybe need to be updated okay then only you will realize that okay i need to update my version then how would you know in which version i i need to move on then you have to identify first which version currently are you in your system okay if you will be able to identify that first then you have to you know update your version to the next one so that is why i generally you know prefer to do this kind of thing when i so it's my my practice and i don't know means you guys will like this or not but i generally want everyone to be make habit of it if suppose you are trying to use you know any library please check which version of that library you are going to use or you are going to use okay so let's say numpy so numpy i don't know how many of you are aware about but don't worry i'm going to cover about this numpy as well because this is what the library we generally use when we we deal with the data or maybe when you know we do some sort of analytic kind of thing then generally we use numpy scipy pandas and these kind of libraries generally we use for that okay so more or less i must say uh, one session i am going to take uh, you to you know give you a walk through about what all libraries and what all functionalities we generally do use do when when we do some sort of you know analytic kind of stuff or maybe you can say like when we do data modeling when we do you know data messaging or when we do data wrangling whatever it's all about data only so you have to you know think about it at that time why he is teaching me this kind of stuff even though <clears throat> we are not using it so if you want you guys can you know participate on kaggle competition there also you will get lot of stuff and you know you can make use whatever you have learned from my classes you will try to use and you will try to apply on the kaggle so truly speaking if you are very beginner and you are just following my code or maybe my session you can say then you would be able to you know recognize or maybe you would be able to i've tempt a kaggle competition so that is why you know i from the beginning i keep on saying you please start interacting with me and start participating participating with me when i ask something some questions because you know the more you interact the more you will familiar with the stuff that is that is you know it's not anyone's logic it's my logic but that is the fact actually yeah so numpy we can say here if we will run this then we will get this so which version i am using in numpy that is 1.14.3 so you don't need to do anything you just need to here you know replace this keyword with the you know library name that's it that is what i have done for everything okay so i'm not going to go for each one and uh, will tell you what exactly you need to do but i must say you just need to run this so that you will be able to understand see you will be getting like this it is taking quite some time to get output why because it is going in your system and it is trying to check that so that is why it is taking some time so don't worry okay it happens actually here apart from this uh yes we can move on to the next code which uh, really we wanted to do i have given here set difference okay what exactly the set difference here is basically how you will be identify i don't know how many of you remember this set or not i don't know but yeah i need to just uh, teach you about what exactly the set difference how exactly we can do that set difference so basically where we generally use set difference for that only let me take this entire example on you know my jupyter notebook okay now i hope you guys are able to see my jupyter notebook yes you are now basically i have two string let me just write two string here so this is what my two string is 
now this is my two string now these are the strings i need to convert it into the so basically this example belongs to set difference example now basically these are the strings you are also able to see and you are also able to recognize this now i need to convert into the set how i'm going to do that okay so let me just create what set let me just take the name as set 1 and i am going to create whatever string present in that so for that i need to just write set inside that i need to just pass the argument as an string 1 now it is going to convert you the set okay now same thing you have to perform with what str2 now let me see what exactly we are getting here now ah uh, i don't understand uh, one thing how many of you remember if i would like to check what is the type of this set does anybody have any idea can ping me like i if i wanted to check the type of this no one is trying to give answer so what i generally write print and i wanted to check the type of this what should i write here type of or should i write type can anybody type okay okay thank you so much those who have responded thank you so much you can see here so this is nothing but our string now i wanted to do the same thing and i wanted to know what exactly the type now it became so, so earlier it was a string now i am going to type here and i am just wanted to you know um, know about the type of this so those who has replied thank you so much uh, i am really felt happy actually about you guys because you guys are you know somewhere you guys are doing something actually so it's a 554 and 551 sorry 511 uh, i'm going to run this yep you can see here earlier it was str now it is having a set are you getting my point what is the difference between this i have written just set in front of a string and then it is going to going to convert into the set one now i wanted to get the set difference basically set difference if i will ask you these are the three uh, four things are present in one set these are the five things are present in another set so if i will ask you the set difference how many of you will give answer what would be the set difference of this so uh, basically you have two things so let's say one set is like this here basically you have so one set contains a comma a b c and d now second set again contains it it is also including a e a and b then c and d so now i want what is the set difference between these two anyone guys please it's a set normal set in maths you have learned about this what exactly the difference between these sets so if there is one element which is present in the, you know another set same element is also present in different set that that is means the set difference is what that that particular element okay so one element if single element belongs to both the set two different set then that is nothing but your set difference okay thank you so much whoever giving 554 thank you so much so yes uh, he or she is right absolutely because you know that is what the set difference is now i am going to just print two three lines what exactly i am going to print here i wanted to know what is it is the set difference is so here i am going to write print now tell me what is the set 
I wanted to get information about set one dot. Here I'm gonna write what difference. Okay. And then I need to specify here what set two. That's it. Nothing else we need to do here because we just we have another method you can say which is available for this. We just need to run this. So we are getting empty. Why? Why we are getting empty set? Can somebody have any guess? Okay, now let me perform the same thing. And I will write like this. Okay. Now we'll see. Oh, wow, we are getting this. Why, why earlier we were not getting through this? Now think about it. Your set one is, you know, a smaller set. Your set two is a bigger set. Now in set one, you are mentioning in set one, it is having A, B, C, D. Okay, it doesn't contain E, A, B, C, E, E also. Now in set two, do you already have all the five type of characters? Now in all the five type of character, you just wanted to, you know, get the difference of that. So you are applying difference over the set two. Set two already contains more characters, you can say. But when you are, you are going to apply difference, then please be remember this point like, Always take the difference from the bigger one. Okay. So always call from the bigger character. Basically, you can say dot difference and then this, this one is smaller. Okay. Then only you will be able to get this element. Now, instead of this, I, I don't want to write like this. I, I just wanted to, you know, uh, need something else apart from this. So let me see how exactly we can get. Okay. Or basically, I can just try to find one more, uh, you know, uh, method which is available, symmetric difference. We will see what exactly we will get here. So I'm gonna write here, paint, and then we are gonna write here like this, set, basically set one dot. What is the symmetric difference I said? See, symmetric. So correct me if I'm writing, you know, wrong spelling symmetric underscore difference and then i will try to apply here set two we will see whether we are getting any output or not so we will write here print symmetric difference So we are getting here. Now you can see what exactly the difference you are now able to see. If you will write symmetric difference, then you would be able to get the output here. But if you will write just difference, you won't get this E. So this is where we generally use symmetric difference. Okay. Are we clear? Anyone? Anyone wants me to clear about it? Okay, now here the point is like it, I got just to one value. Now here I'm gonna write, instead of, you know, five characters, I just wanted to write A, B, C, D, H. Let me write instead of here. like this you can say it's a bit confusing but we will see yes now you can see here what exactly the difference so it will give you the set difference actually now if there is something present in set one and that is not present in set two then you will get some difference value as well so here you are getting z and m because z and m is present in you know string one and the same character is not present in string two. So 
so that is why we are getting some values here okay so in this way you can you know apply this now i want to retrieve each character i wanted to retrieve each character which are present in here so what i will do so guys please apply your brain so so that is why I, in the beginning i said like today's exercise i need to perform everything in front of you and you need to you know sync with me what exactly i need to do so uh, what i want is what all differences i am getting i need to get each one on, one by one because maybe I, in later point of time i wanted to apply some operation on it so how exactly you guys will you know see this particular output so guys any suggestion from you all i want whatever the output i am getting here i want that has to be in proper sequence or maybe each character need to be rectified or maybe need to be you know differentiated between them so now let me just write here i am going to write one variable and i am going to just assign this particular result sorry set one and then symmetric difference or maybe you can instead of symmetric difference you can use difference set that is not at all a problem so i am going to write here i am storing the value into result so now i am going to make one for loop for i in what for i in result and then i am trying to you know print i so now if you will run this you will get everything to be like look so this is what i have asked and nobody would be able to give answer so guys that is why i keep on saying like please 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 it's my sincere request to you all please apply your brain or maybe you know try to you know do some coding on by your own or maybe at your home try to do something so uh, guys hope everyone is you know clear about what are all i have you know taught you right away so guys please uh, i just want to acknowledge from you all are we good till this point or not if yes then we can move on otherwise we can stay back and we can see a work around here yes i got ping from you all thank you so much yes okay great now with this we have covered this now another code which i wanted to you know deal with you all is now i would like to perform merge short i don't know how many of you are aware about it so uh, you know before proceed let me just you know make a note of it what exactly merge short is and what exactly merge short does uh, how many of you have learned data structure in your you know in first year second year or maybe you know second semester guys i want from you all what is merge sort anybody having any idea if no then please do let me know otherwise i am going to you know i am going to read about it or maybe i am going to explain you everything so basically merge sort is nothing but the divide and conquer divide and conquer algorithm okay you are going to learn this when you will you know you will get data structure as a subject okay or algorithm as a subject in both the cases you will learn this so when i say divide and conquer algorithm what does that mean that means it divides the input array which you are having input array into two half basically okay and then what it does okay thank you so much 520 you are quite a bit aware about it okay now here what exactly the function we generally use here to do merge sort we generally use merge function so i will talk about this merge function how exactly merge function is okay so it is used for us to merging or basically for merging into two halves 
so basically we have to merge something on the basis of key you can say okay and then sort we have to perform sorting as well and then we have to merge into two sorted sub array into the one so i really don't want to get into you know entire uh, definition just i would like to take you to how exactly we can perform the merge sort on a list so i will again i will do this thing from using an example you can say and then only i will talk so here suppose you have list 1 is like this and list 2 is like this i hope everybody would be able to you know follow up so far now just tell me one thing if i will i am going to perform merge fun merge sort here what would be my output anyone guesses anyone is guessing up or not no no guesses i am getting some responses divide and conquer it divides into subscripts okay okay let me perform the merge sorting here okay guys so truly speaking i am not going to follow uh, you know basically one approach it's a uh, how exactly i can implement this so i need to think first there has to be one more array okay or maybe input array you can say which need to you know store all the results when you merge these two you will get one result so where are you going to store that that you need to think that is why you have to first take some result array or you can mention it as an empty now i i am going to go i i am going to go with this and i have to iterate over each you know list so l1 i need to iterate l2 i need to iterate so to iterate i need to have my some variables which has to be start from 0 and 0 basically so i'm going to write i comma j is equal to what 0 because what i am trying to do with this because i wanted to let's say like i want some you know uh, maybe you can say like i wanted to iterate over l1 okay l1 is what my input array one now i want to iterate all the element okay then how i am going to do that so i need to at any cost i need to use for loop that's true in for loop i need some variable through which i can iterate over each element okay getting if you are getting my point then i would need here to ask you one more thing now what should i do i i pretty much aware about i have taught you while loop as well okay i have even explained you about what if else loop now even i have explained you about for loop now i just wanted to know about you all how many of you have remember that how many please raise your hand if at all you guys have remember that i am not getting any responses that that means what
No responses. Okay. Cool. Now, first of all, I am going to take i and j variable and I am going to, you know, iterate over the length of L1 and L2. Okay. So, first of all, I want what? I need one while loop while and this is going to read conditions like I less than length L1. So I am going to use to know about or maybe you know to iterate over L1 and J I am going to use the same for the L2 and I will you know my while loop will go till what till L1 and L2 entire elements has to be traced or maybe has to be retrieved. Now I will write again one more condition here and same you need to just write this J by because I already said like J I'm going to use for L2 less than length of J, sorry, it has to be L2. Okay. Now, this is what my condition has to be in while because I need to retrieve, you know, iterate over all both the loop. Now, I need to check each values of an, you know, array. How I'm going to do that? So, I need to write. If, if L1 dot or instead of this, if I would say if L1 I because in L1, I'm trying to use I. And then if I'm trying to use L2, L2, here I'm gonna specify J. Now, if I will do this, what exactly you are trying to do with this? If I will perform this, what I'm trying to do with this? Anyone, any guesses? I am trying to take the first element of my L1 list, I, sorry, L1 array, and I wanted to compare it, it with the L2 array, or maybe you can say list, first element of the L2 list. Okay. Now, if my L1 first element is greater than the L2 first element, okay, listen carefully. So, my first element in L1 is greater than the first element of L2 which is here the right answer then what i need to do i need to take that into where i need to take that into where then i need to add lower of them or maybe you know which one is smaller has to be into the result list 
बिकॉज रिजल्ट इज ऑलरेडी एम्पटी ओके नाउ नाउ वी विल डू दिस आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो हियर इफ एल वन इज ग्रेटर देन आई एम गो नॉट टेक एल टू जे ओके बिकॉज यू नो लिस्ट हैज टू बी सॉर्टेड दैट हैज टू बी यू नो सॉर्टिंग हैज टू बी डन फ्रॉम द यू नो बेसिकली यू कैन से लाइक इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट शुड बी कम एट द फर्स्ट एंड देन यू नो लार्जर एलिमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी कम एट द एंड so now i am going to save that into the result so how exactly i am going to save so you need to understand that i have de here declare one result list empty list okay so i am going to append my this element l2j element because that is smaller let's say that is smaller here in this case that is smaller so what i am trying to do here is result dot now everybody is quite aware about the function a is so here what i am trying to do is i don't know how many of you remember this append and then i try to append what l2 and then j, j element are you guys with me or not that is what i am trying to do here in front of you so i am trying to which one is smaller i am trying to append on a result because result is nothing but the empty set now a smaller element is already present there let's say so this is where in result i am just trying to insert one of the element so one of the element is nothing but the smallest element of the both in both the uh, uh, list you can say like now after that what i am trying to do is i need to increase the counter so counter why i need to increase because my one element from the j or from the l2 is already getting inserted into the result so my pointer has to be increased by one because i have already trees i have already you know done the merge or maybe you can say sorting now after this if that is not the case then what i am going to do that now tell me guys i need responses from you all this is one case now if else part what i am going to i am going to get just tell me what i am going to get so here if that is not the case then in else part i am going to append result dot append what l1 and then j this getting because if l1 is not l1 i is not greater than l2 j then what does that mean if that is not the condition that means l2 j is greater than the l1 i and at that point l1 i is my smallest number okay yes exactly yes yes you are absolutely right thank you sorry thank you yes okay are you getting my point and now here we need to increase the pointer of what i has to be increased by 1 yes it's a simple thing which i have performed in front of you all you don't believe once i finished with this code you won't believe you will be able to do the code of merge sort truly speaking and it's a in you know the way i am trying to explain it is in a very simple manner because generally what people does they just try to use you know code in front of you and just try to run that and then try to you know uh, do that but here i am trying to you know write code in front of you line by line so that each line you would be able to understand what exactly he is trying to do okay now this has been done now let me come out from my if 
while loop and if now you need to think of before going to this now you need to think about some exceptions exceptions is what suppose your l1 is there your l1 list is there but but l2 is not there or maybe you can say l2 is empty and sometimes maybe there is a case l2 list is there is there but l1 is empty this is a, this is you know one condition which you need to also tackle or maybe maybe in l1 you have multiple you know uh, basically you can say like you have uh, more elements or maybe you can say more items but in l2 you have only one how are you going to deal that okay so every time you don't need to compare l1 as well as l2 if that is the case then here i am going to write something what exactly i am going to write i am writing here let me see if if length of if my length of l1 i basically in the beginning because this is zero zero till end so i'm not going to specify here end value because i don't know but i am trying to you know whatever here l1 comes i am trying to you know get the length of entire thing or maybe you can write length of l1 that is also fine for me okay but here i am trying to write like this and i am trying to see if this is less than or is equal to 1 then what i am trying to do then i am trying to write like this print and that element has to be just appended or maybe you can say like added okay so what all value comes in my result plus l1 and then all the elements of i like this so this is going to handle suppose you are having l1 contains only one element okay l1 having one element then in result what whatever output you are getting in result and one element uh, which is you know getting from the l1 that is also going to be inserted okay so this is one condition which i am going to handle same thing you have to handle in l2 else basically and here you can write print statement basically normal print statement so i am going to write here result plus l2 j and then all the values so it's a very simple program truly speaking very simple program now you can see um, what would be the output and here also you can see one of the example see i am going to compare this l2 till this how many elements are there six till the six elements of my l1 okay so sorry i am counting here from here till here what rest is still pending but l2 is empty now what i am trying to do whatever comes in rest that is going to append on a result so let me run this are you able to see the result
now you can sit and think about it what exactly it does just scan it once and then do let me know what exactly you will be able to understand Guys, are we getting the correct output or not? Think it once and then do let me know. And maybe, you know, uh, when I was about to end my sessions or maybe you can say like this entire programming class, I will talk about Marsort and then I will you know give you a walk through or maybe you can say like i will again write a one code for you about what exactly the merge sort is how exactly you can use merge function so here also you can use but i am not gonna use because i wanted to make it as simple as i can so i have done that is there any issue is there any you know problem so far you guys are you know facing any issue with the code because that is how you will get the problem nobody will ask you like you know you have to give one liner so it's the actual way to learn the programming classes or you know to code actually so you know i don't know how many of you will be able to you know uh, realize my session is very much aligned to you all because you know I am trying to cover almost everything and I am trying to give almost all the practical aspects of a theory even in my case or maybe in my all the class if you might have observed that if I just give one or two lines of theory or maybe you know try to explain the topic I must have given an sent uh, one syntax along with their you know example. I don't know. This is what uh, basically you might have observed or not. But I know about my style, how exactly I do my stuff. But that is what I have done. So whatever topic I have covered, I have given one simple example as well. Okay, and it's not only once I have you know covered the same topic multiple times because of you all have requested sir can you please arrange one session for this so that is why i have considered one you know i have prepared one more topic which is i called as which generally i call it as you know miscellaneous and there i have given you a lot of examples and again i am you know sitting back and i am trying to you know give you one example so that sometimes it happens you may get bored while you know uh, you know learn just a topic and their you know theory or maybe the way i generally teach maybe you might have felt oh sir is every day sir has to you know cover some topic and then he's trying to finish that so i don't want to do that today i thought like let it be let's make some difference so that you know one day somewhat different than what we do is quite you know good even for you even for uh, me as well okay yes so thank you i got a reply from 554 and thank you so much for it okay you make it in ascending order if you want so you just need to perform you know here ascending you have to just make e asc or maybe dsc is equal to true or false whatever depends upon your need okay what else i guess this is pretty much fine and then tomorrow i will you know take up to the next topic okay or maybe if you guys really want to you know continue with some more stuff like this then definitely i will keep on inserting one or two examples in between and try to you know explain about all the line each line one by one how exactly i'm trying to do coding okay 
guys with this let me just to close my session okay if you have any doubt further any you know enhancement you need please do let me know ping me or maybe ping your cr prs they will come back to me and they will say sir somebody is asking like this so thank you so much i am going to close my session thank you so much for your participation okay okay somebody has pinged me uh, okay somebody has asked how to ping how to print 11 to 12 and 13 so it's nothing but you have to think about it because i have just printed one till this 10 if you have observed or not um, he or she has observed that so i have done this stuff till this rest you need to insert it and how exactly you will do same the logic which i have applied here you have to do that okay because already you are getting this in result now whatever is pending you have to insert here okay so thank you so much guys thank you so much for your participation let me close my session